Welcome into Finley Stadium here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're on a perfect fall afternoon. The Wofford Terriers will look to keep their Southern Conference Championship hopes alive. The Terriers, coming off an open week and a win over VMI before that, are 3-1 and one in league play and 5-3 and three overall. Chattanooga, well, they're the boss team in the conference to this point this year. The Mocs are 5-0 and oh in the league, 6-3 and three overall, and they're ranked number 11 in the nation. The scenario is quite simple. A Wofford win and and they're still alive. A Chattanooga win, and the Mox will clinch the conference championship and go to the national playoffs for the first time in 29 years. Last year, Chattanooga beat the Terriers in this very facility 20 to 10. The home team has won five of the last six head-to-head -head meetings. Here are your highlights. We will have to play 60 minutes. We will have to be focused from the first snap to the last snap. There cannot be any indecision in how you play the game. It's got to be wide open, the best you got, fight the fight from the starting, as soon as that whistle blows, to the last part. Like I told you earlier in the week, I love big games. I love big games because big games really tell what you're all about. Big games tell whether you man enough to step up to the challenge or whether you're still too young-minded enough to fight what we got to fight. It will not be easy. How you handle the ups and the downs in this game will be critical. Don't get too low. Don't get too high. Stay exactly where you got to be. And that's dialed in and that is focused. Remember your technique. Remember your technique and your coaching. I promise you. When all things go a little crazy, if you get back to the basics, that's where you can start correcting things in a hurry. Wofford second down and seven from their 12. Moving left to right, two receivers to the right, one to the left, Weimer toss far corner. Lorenzo Long has room up the sideline, good yards. 20-25, first down run. One receiver, Irwin, will split to the left, wing bone this time with Long remaining the fullback, and they're gonna come the other direction, and Ray Smith has a seam, left side, 30, 40, far sideline, 50. Ray Smith, 40, 30, 20, 10, five, touchdown! Whoa, Raymond Smith, 72 yards, and Wofford has the lead. They came with some misdirection. Welcome back, Ray. Nice to have you after the hamstring injury, and man, that was impressive. Looked like Wofford was doomed starting at their own nine yard line. Lined up as an H back to the right of the quarterback. Hand off Williams, and this time he'll be hit in the backfield and thrown for a loss. Second and seven, or second and goal, I should say, from the seven for Chattanooga. Two H backs and a running back out of the pistol. Williams left side breaks tackles at the five, and he will get in. Zach Muller in the slot. One receiver, Wade Francis to the short side. That's the left. This time Weimer out of the gun with two backs split beside him. Weimer going to run the option left. Left, wants to dance outside, makes one man miss, but then he's dragged down from behind. Hudson, a good one. He is averaging 16 yards per return. Rugby style kick by Sanders. Will bounce and roll at the near side and take a great terrier roll. Inside the 30, inside the 20, it'll die at the nine yard line. What a job by Sanders to flip the field with that punt. First and 10 from their 22, Pistol with a wing to the left, play action, Huseman under fire. This time he gets away from a man in the pocket. Now he's gonna tuck it and run. He gets to the 25 far sideline. He'll be chucked out of bounds by Michelson. Third and five from the 19 right hash, wing bone. One receiver, Francis to the left, Irwin to the right. Long is the fullback, fake of the dive. Weimer pitch away, looking to make left corner as Flowers. He crosses the 20, he'll go out of bounds, close to the stick at the 24 yard line under 12 minutes to play first half mox driving they lead at 7-6 
Second down and seven from the Wofford 41. Play action, Huseman all sorts of time. High throw near sideline, incomplete. Knocked away from Tommy Hudson by Breon Anderson, who then shows a little bravado. Center of the field, two receivers left out of the gun. Huseman with a back sidecar right and two tight ends. He's going to throw toward the back of the end zone. Leaping try, is it caught? Yes, touchdown. Or Weimer from the gun with two backs. Going to run the option right. No, he wants to throw man wide open down the middle of the field and it's incomplete. Zach Muller was running free at the mock 30 yard line right up the middle. Wide right Irwin, wide left Francis. Again, it's the wing bone. Chattanooga this time, three down linemen, five on the line of scrimmage. Toss far corner, Raymond Smith has some green in front of him to the 50. First down and 10 at the mock 42. Out of the gun, Weimer, two back split behind him. A wing to the left is Muller. And it's a fake of the dive. Late pitch and far sideline, long 30. Lorenzo 20, racing to the 10, to the five, touchdown. Lorenzo long down the far sideline and it's a 14 to 12 ball game. Great burst. Yeah, and a great late pitch that time by Weimer. Pitch was on the money, hesitated until the last possible second and it allowed the defense to get all out of sorts. Is five for eight, Huseman handoff, not gonna make it. First down Wofford, they gave it to Keon Williams. Tarek Odom blew it up. Third and 10, Terriers from their 34. Two receivers left, a wing left, one man to the right. Play action for Butler, flat pass near side. Muller's got it at the 40. He'll take it to the 41. Second down and five coming up from the 50. They go out of the pistol with three receivers in a triangle to the right and one man to the left. Bagley, the running back, and Huseman drops the ball on the handoff try. He is hemmed in and dropped for a big loss back at the mock 40-yard line. Three receivers in a triangle to the right, short split, one man to the left, Huseman out of the gun, they go from the pistol again. Back will stay into block. Huseman is gonna be taken down! Sacked by E.J. Speller back at the 33 yard line and now it's fourth and long. And he's got two running backs alongside. Man in motion to the near side, Huseman going to run the quarterback draw, tries to spin away from defenders in the backfield, but he'll lose a yard or two. He is snowed under at the 32. Drake Michelson got in there for Wofford. Three receivers left on first and 10 from the 11. Handoff, Williams left side, bounces it outside to the five. He'll score standing up. Touchdown Chattanooga. Third and nine from there, 26. Wide outs either side, wing bone. Pitch, near corner, Smith gets a block, 30, 35, lowers the boom, first down run out to the 38. Rick a lot of them standing up. Second and 16, Weimer play action, throws in pattern, good catch by Irwin, bounces off tacklers, 25-30, Will Irwin finally knocked over at the 34. Right end, Gauger, motions right, single back, Weimer from the gun, here comes pressure, he'll throw, intercepted. Snap from Norder on the way. Kick is a line drive and it is good. It wasn't pretty, but it's effective and Chattanooga now leads it by 18 points. Coach, you hang with them first half, score for score. Second half, they seem to take over. What, what was the difference? Well, we uh, offensively really struggled in the second half. Uh, couldn't put plays together. Would have a good play, a negative play. Uh, just wasn't as consistent as we needed to be. In the first half, we had uh, two real big plays on them, and then uh, for whatever reason, uh, we, we just didn't execute at the level that we needed to offensively. Uh, played defense, played really well on defense for the most part. Uh, kicking game, uh, you know, kickoff coverage, we, we needed some work on that, and, but uh, we, uh, we, we, we had our, our shot in the game. Uh, we, we just didn't uh, tie plays together. Uh, normally, we're, uh, we're going to take it and we're going to drive it and we're going to eat the clock and we're going to uh, give ourselves a chance to make a score and then uh, have our defense on the boundary, waiting to play, keeping them fresh. Uh, our defense, I think, played a lot of snaps. And uh, we... Uh, we just didn't execute, uh, you know, my job is to get our guys to execute and I, I've got to find a way to do a better job. And uh, we talked to the guys and said, hey, I, I'm not sure what, whether uh, the championship is a long shot or no shot, but that really doesn't matter to me right now. It, what matters to me is the next game 
it's Furman, it's, uh, it's in Greenville again. I don't know how that worked out, but uh, we, uh, we've got a tough challenge in the last two ball games. I promise you, they're, they're quality football teams. I don't care what Furman's record is. I, they're, they'll come and, and they'll play lights out. I guarantee it. You've got a young offensive line, which has had a very good season when you yeah. look at it on balance. Today they face some very, very talented yeah. defensive players. Yeah. What kind of lessons do they take from this? Well, uh, I think for the most part they, they did all right. Uh, pass protection-wise, uh, I, I think they, they were uh, accountable. They, they did a nice job. Um, we, uh, you know, you, you have some plays and uh, – Sometimes you get a, uh, a play where it's not quite as clear as it needs to be, and uh, we, we have a busted assignment, something like that, and, and, and that can give you problems. But uh, we're, a, we're, we're a young team. We're, we're, we're working. We're working to try to be a, a great team, and uh, it, it's, a, it's a process. It's, it's a process that doesn't happen overnight. And uh, what we've got to be able to do is come back uh, tomorrow um, and have a great week of preparation and uh, go a week from today and play the best game we've ever played. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. So with today's 31 to 13 loss at Chattanooga, the Terriers see their overall record drop to five and four. Now in conference play, Wofford sits at three and two, and hopes of a SoCon championship have been dashed by the Mox, who are on their way to the playoffs for the first time in 29 years. Next up for Wofford, an I-85 rivalry game in Greenville next Saturday against the Furman Paladins. That'll start at 12 noon. We'll have the radio broadcast starting at 11. 1130 on the Wofford IMG Sports Network. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.